once I was talking to a lady, it's more in a natural love sort of belief and reincarnation, old theory sort of stuff, and she had some sexual abuse, a lot of sexual abuse stuff happened to her when she was younger. And I'm um, just talking to her one day and I could feel like there's so much anger and I was bringing up some stuff and it was, I felt like the anger was directed at me and I just felt really uncomfortable about it. Mm -hmm. When I went home, just writing in my diary and just trying to get a bit more into the feeling and um, I'm sleeping home, just going down my stairs and it's just dawned on me like, I wonder if I'd harm somebody in the, like, I must have harmed so many people. I wonder if there's still people still in that position. I thought 2,000 years, you think, I think they'd move on sort of thing, like they'd actually progress a little bit. It just like shocked me to think that there might be still somebody from my actions to feel bad about that. Yeah. That I'm um, still there. Mm -hmm. And so, ended up speaking to, um, I think, ended up talking to Natalie, which is over in England at the time. She was quite good with her mediumship then, and um, emailed her and asked her mm -hmm. if she could ask her guide if there's anybody that's there. And um, she said there was, and we decided to connect up on Skype, just do a talk over the internet, just kind of channels over the internet to me. And um, I was quite scared about it too, and took a bucket in the room with me because I just didn't want to face all that stuff. Yeah. Like things that just I'd done through my injuries. Mm. Yeah. I just have so much self loathing about maybe people like to believe in reincarnation and take on some nice thing, don't they? And you know, why would you want to take on this shit, you know? What would you want to even like accept an identity like that? <clears throat> and anyway, started speaking to her. She didn't really want to speak to me, but it was encouraged by the spirit guys that with her to speak to me. And we're just talking about her life a little bit, and um, just let her talk as much as possible because I had no idea what to say. Just had no idea. She just hated me, like really, really hated me, and um, just. She'd been raped by me and some of my troop guys as well. And um, she died from injuries. And she had a little girl, just a little newborn, and she was just so like, lost about what happened to her. And I just got to talking about her, that she's in the spirit world with her, but that meant nothing. There's just, it just so much pain from the loss. And I um, just got talking to her about her life a bit more, and she's just scared her whole life as a woman scared and the only she had, I said there must be just one time you can remember in your life you were happy is it one time and she remembered a time when she was by herself walking around the lake it's the only time she remembers being feeling nice and just happy and um just talked to her a little bit more and um she started to sort of realize a few things and told her what happened to me because she died before me just told her what happened to me and she was really happy that I got hurt so much as well um just you know how much people hate you sort of thing, it's just not nice. And I'm just hearing that, they're so happy how much you got hurt. And um, I just spoke to her a bit more and then didn't feel like that went very well. I sort of finished it and didn't feel like it went very well. I just went up and cried. And, um, but since she's been doing really well, she's got a really, like, it's helped her a lot. She's mm -hmm. moved forward quite rapidly, which is really good. Yeah. Where is she now? <coughs> I don't know. She's in probably, it's not in the celestials yet. We still got a lot of stuff to work through. I think she's in the third actually. Mm. And, um, and helping these spirits, like anybody that's meeting Mr. here, they can help, help the truth of these spirits. They're just so thankful for it. Mm. If you can imagine being stuck somewhere in such a horrible place, just even in your own emotions, and how long you can be stuck in something for so long, how horrible it is. Someone could just teach you a truth and help you get out of there to a happier place. They're like a friend forever. They are, they're just so thankful. So it's nice in a way too to be able to help, especially these people that you know I'd harmed or done something to. I couldn't feel anything, so, and I think there's a band of spirits around me that don't allow that to. But the truth is they can harm you, um, particularly with their emotions and your emotions, so if your emotions are in sympathy with their emotions, they can harm you through that connection? Yeah. So it's more emotional thing. 
Um, you, they can do physical things to you because of that emotional thing. So they could in, they could even do things like cause you to go into self harm, for example, or mm -hmm. cause. So a lot of the so called psychotic behaviours that occur mm -hmm. on Earth today are all usually related to spirit attachments um, affecting the person on Earth. So yeah, I've, I've got a friend who's who experiences schizophrenia. Yeah, and he often talks about um, like he he calls them spirit. Um, uh, Sort of latching onto him and yep. drawing energy out of his That's head what they do, yeah. If he's aware of that, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And they draw energy out of you mm -hmm. emotionally, like it's to do with your emotional condition, and that's why the energy flows out of you to them. So, but yeah, they can certainly harm you. And they can also cause major physical damage to your body, even, even your own death. Is um, there something you can do, like put up a, something to do with the emotion? Yeah, deal with the emotion, like we've been yeah. saying. So there's no the attraction emotion, then. There's no attraction.